Check it out, guys. What you're looking for is that 4DX, okay? Avatar. Guys, this is gonna be epic. Why you might add? Because we're gonna go see a movie in 4DX and it's supposed to have wind blowing, water splashing, you can smell stuff, something rub against your feet. Guys, we're gonna see Avatar in 4DX and I'm dying to know if it's gonna be the most amazing thing you've ever heard of. So I'm gonna bring it to you live. Well, not live, because I can't record in the movie theater, but I'm gonna bring it to you and find out if it's gonna be the stuff that dreams are made of. So with that said, and now your mama knows. Let's go. And now your mama knows. <laughs> All right, so we've been here one time before, and if you've seen that, we came to see Orphan First Kill. And this theater is epic. Look at that, it's state of the art. They got videos playing at the top. Um, it's pretty cool. They got boba over there. They got the Lava Azra place over there where they do like coffee and stuff. Cool, cool, cool. Food, food, right? So let's check it out. Yeah, man, this place is armed to the teeth. All right, guys, so we're here, and uh, what kind of pizza we're gonna try? It's called Sweet and Spicy Bee Sting Pizza. Bee Sting Pizza. Guys, it's gonna be epic. Do you wanna know what's on it? Oh yeah, tell them what's on it. <laughs> so it has classic pepperoni, and then it has hickory smoked bacon, and then it has hot and honey drizzle sauce over top. And we got some popcorn. Sandy put some butter on it. Let's go. And we got a Pepsi. You know how it goes. Even though I like Coke better. But honestly, I kind of feel like Coke and Pepsi taste identical. Um, you know what? I have to make a video about it. But uh, check it out, guys. The Bee Sting Pizza. What theater are we in? Let's see. 13. Uh, look at that. Okay, okay, okay. So the pepperoni, uh, bacon, a and a little drizzle. Yeah, the hot, whatever hot type of sauce. sauce. What is this right there? Bacon. Oh, okay, a big piece of bacon. Wow. And you can see back there, they got the actual kitchen. Good stuff, good stuff. Here's what's cool. They got tables right here that you could just sit down and chill at. But check this out. They got a little lounge over there right in the corner. You just want to chill out. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, let's check it out, guys. RPX Regal Premium Experience, but right there is the 4DX. They even got Screen X, and if you look down there, they got, look at that. They even got little trailers that's just playing on the screen. Man, it's pretty epic, pretty epic. But this is what we came for, and we're about to do it. All right, so I guess those are extra speakers right there. Uh, that's the size of the screen. Look at the chairs. Check it out, check it out. So check it out. I don't know what the hell that is. Maybe like the things that touch your feet or whatever. But look at it. They got the things that's inside of it. Um, cup holders. Okay, look, see how she pulled it down. There you go. It's the thing that rubs against your feet. Yeah, it's interesting. We'll figure it out. Pretty good? Oh yeah. Let me try it myself. I'm coming for everything. You threatening me? Something is going on. Here's what's cool. It's a sweet taste. It's the honey. Mm. Now we pass talking. Then maybe you just have to find out. Check it out, guys. This must be like and the flash stuff. The up. They're all over the theater. And he never left any. Yeah. Extra speakers. Tell him that wow. he does. And then look. Check this out. Right in front of us. That must be where they spray out the I scent. Promise. I promise. I know this sounds silly, but we didn't realize it was 3D also. 
nowhere did it say 3D. This is gonna be epic. 3D ready, baby. And you can turn your water off, but I want it on. Let's go. It's about to start. Let me just tell you this. That's the most clear screen I've ever seen as long as I've been watching movies. You feel the water, you the sense like you it smelled like pollen and some type of like flowers, like the sounds. There was explosions and then there's certain lights mounted to the top of like the um, the walls so they flash at the same time. Guys, the 4DX theater experience is real and it's a must. If you're a movie goer, this is what you need to do. Subscribe to the most epic channel on YouTube for live streams every week, daily videos. Subscribe. All right, guys. Now that I got home, I had about a 45 minute drive and I had a chance to clear my mind and fully think about this after that amazing experience. So a couple things I want to go over. One is water. Guys, throughout the movie, you felt it raining. I even took my hat off because I wanted to fully immerse myself in it. I could feel the raindrops splashing on my head. There was times where it was raining. There was times where water splashed. You feel water hit you, and it's pretty cool. Now I want to talk about fog. So this part I don't think was that special. Like, way down there, you could see the fog actually come out. And it was cool to see it come in front of the screen as fog was like in the movie where you seen it come on like, you know, the stage or if you was to be standing right in front of the theater. That personally didn't do anything for me because I was in the middle of the theater. So I could visually see it, but that was about it. Now, one of the best features of a 4DX theater, which I really didn't think was going to be that noticeable, was actually scent. See, I'm one of those people where my sense of smell is not that great, and this was really cool, and I think Avatar really brought it out, because they were in, like, jungles and forests, and you smell, like, sweet scents, like flowers, and it was so strong, like, that really did bring out that immersive feeling as if you was right there in a jungle. One of the coolest things also was the strobe lights. So there was times where an explosion would happen and then a light would flash and you felt like the boom and the flicker. And it was off in a distance because these uh, lights are like mounted on the sides of the theater. It was pretty cool. Now, my wife showed me a video of a 4DX theater and so I did a little bit of research and going into this I was looking to see bubbles because it's supposed to be one of them I didn't notice any bubbles personally so I can't really say because I didn't see that at all and one thing that they had when I was researching this was the tickler pretty much it's the thing at the bottom of your feet and it hits like the back of your feet right personally my seat I didn't feel it at all my wife said she felt it maybe about three times I don't know if mine just didn't work or not or if one of the coolest things I have to say is the seats moving they was rolling they was rocking I mean it goes side to side it goes forward and back there was points in time where it felt like it elevated up and tilted forward to make you feel like you were going to fall forward when they were like flying in on these creatures it felt like it could have been a roller coaster i thought the seats and movements was excellent now i gotta give a special shout to the vibrations now not only did the chair itself vibrate but there was little parts where you felt like a poke in the back like there's things inside of the seats that wasn't a vibration but it's literally like a poke and it could be on your right side or your left side it was pretty cool and also with the chair itself just vibrating and it vibrated on different sides of the chair so if something came from the left or the right you actually felt it from the right or the left it was cool another cool thing was air Guys, there was air that blew into your face, so you felt like a little, like, I don't know, like, like when, uh, f like, I guess fog or wind was going, you felt that little bit of, like, whoosh. it was pretty cool. 
One cool thing too was wind. So there's fans mounted on the sides of the wall and they would turn on and you would hear like the and you would feel a high pressure wind. That was pretty cool also. And guys, to put the cherry on top was the 3D. Now, I'm not a big fan of 3D. The last 3D movie I actually seen was Endgame way back, I don't know, 2018, I guess, something like that. And this was really good 3D along with all of the added special effects. It really made it epic. I mean, just imagine the arrow shoot by you. You feel air come from the back as if the arrow will zip by you. But on the front screen, you see the arrow come to the screen. So you got both emergence of from the background to the front and then you feel the wind i mean you put this thing together from the sense and the wind blowing and the chair rocking and you getting poked in the back guys the rumbling it was really really epic and i think everybody should go out and check a movie out in 4dx and i think avatar is the perfect movie for you to go check this out in 4dx so with that being said guys I'm going to also do a review of this Avatar, Way of the Water. Make sure you're looking out for that. It'll be a part of one of my live streams. But guys, you know how it goes. I'm the Cowboy King of Content, and I do four live streams a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern. And I also put out daily content, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, like my videos, and share the content because there's more to come. And with that being said... And now, your mama knows.